What's going on everybody? Jake here with Bandit Fitness Equipment and today we are in San Diego at the Ursa 2023 Fitness Expo. This is the Super Bowl of nerds like us who like this type of fitness equipment. We're gonna see a lot of different things here. Companies that we work with, companies we don't work with, stuff from overseas, stuff domestic, and it's gonna be really cool. So we're gonna go through and we'll show you a couple things we see today. First up, we're spending time over at the Hoist booth. Hoist has had several new prototypes to show this year, like a new hip thrust machine, as well as their new HD4000 Simple Trainer, a dual stack rotating arm functional with a unique design. And then single adjustment, so rather than being two pole pins, one for up and down and one for side to side, okay. this is one handle that adjusts both side to side and up and down at the same time. Okay, gotcha. It is counterbalanced, so it's very easy to do. Everything coordinates here with your numbers. Okay. Lock in, and I can match that number sequence on the opposite side if I need to. We also got to check out some of the changes coming to the HD3000 functional trainer, like the new rotating cable columns that you might recognize from the My6 and My7 functional trainers. Hoist also showed a prototype half rack and an accompanying power rack with a new counterbalance safety and liftoff design. It's about a 10 pound arm, so very easy to adjust. I mean, obviously in, in, a, in a club dynamic or a high use facility, when you go to lift these things up, they're heavy, right? Yeah. So having this counterbalance is very easy to move. We also got to catch a workout on the Hoist CL circuit, which utilizes a one-of-a-kind resistance method that allows for all of the machines to have very short weight stack heights without sacrificing any range of motion. You know what we call the customers who buy the 175s? What are they called? Whatever they want us to. <laughs> so we got the Pro Commercial Power Blocks that we've not had a chance to get in the store yet, but the difference you'll find between some of the more residential power blocks, like you know the Sport EXPs, the Pro EXPs, things like that, is they have a rubberized grip. The Pro, the more commercial models, these specifically have a neural to it. So this feels really good. It feels like a barbell. It feels much more custom to a regular dumbbell. But the photos don't do this neural justice. This does actually feel really good. I might even consider putting some of these in my home, but we'll see. We got to say hello to our friends at Tough Stuff as well. Tough Stuff is currently in the process of migrating all of their manufacturing back to the United States, and they had a lot of exciting redesigns to show off that better leverage their new manufacturing processes. They also had several new powder coat and upholstery color options to show. Next, Torque Fitness took us through all of the new configuration options for their X-Create system, a hyper-customizable functional training rig system that is perfect for group fitness studios. And of course, we also had to test out the new models of the tank, including the new wheelbarrow mode that Jake really took the opportunity to flex with. We get to check out several new products from the abs company, like their sled mill and glute trainers. And then we made our way over to see Botka and learn more about their Axis training system. On this side, we actually have the Smith Machine system. It's got a linear bearings inside, so it's very smooth, and the tolerances are very tight. So you don't have a lot of wiggle room when you're adjusting this back and forth. And I even get in here to show you something a little more attractive. <laughs> Make sure you keep that in where I hit my head. Feels really nice. You got your adjustment safeties on the side, plate storage all the way on the back, and even this bench, it's a really good small detail, but because this whole thing kind of curves inwards, this bench also has a rear frame that curves so you can push all the way back. Really nice plates on the side. Everything is Baca branded, so it's a really cool piece. Um, we can kind of see a little bit over here on the side. Um, this is gonna be one of the auxiliary systems you can do. So it kind of fits between two of the stations. In this case, they have a uh, punching bag system, some storage for medicine balls and kettlebells. And now we're looking at the functional trainer option you can put on the side here. So you've got dual 200 pound stacks all the way to the top, all the way to the bottom, a lot of adjustment points. And also you've got a little storage system back here. Nice piece on the top, this roller system, I believe is so you can actually do some sort of a battle rope or suspension. And it's got that weld so it doesn't move too much to the side. 
feels really good. It's honestly really compact. And this whole setup, if you do it as the two system station, it fits pretty flat against the wall. So it's the type of stuff we like to see. You don't need a whole lot of negative space around it. And this shows it with, again, a lot of storage for things like medicine balls, kettlebells, very similar setup to it. But this one can be a standalone. Uh, really cool, uh, really cool stuff here at Bakyo. And finally, we got to test out some products from our friends at Bodycore, including their new app-controlled Smart Sled Pro with a multi-planar movement where the sled actually pushes back in a random pattern so the user has to focus on keeping a straight line. The resistance is also entirely motorized, so even with a person standing on it, the resistance feels exactly the same. So wrapped up here at Ursa, we saw a lot of cool stuff, talked to a lot of people that we already have relationships with, we found a few different products that we might consider bringing on, I even ran into my favorite bodybuilder, so that was a fun way to cap off the whole thing. But hope you enjoyed it, and if you have any questions about any of the products we saw here or anything that we didn't see here, leave a comment below, like, subscribe, and train hard.